congratulations. Ten wins under the dome at MSU. Straight, ten straight wins. First time that's happened since 93. Yeah, we're, I'm proud of these girls. I mean, they're competitors. Uh, we started a little sluggish. They responded, um, hit some shots. And, you know, I think the number one thing I'm probably the most disappointed about was the fact that we gave up 16 offensive rebounds, but they didn't, I don't think they converted on enough to hurt us. But, you know, it's a credit to this team um, and how well they play together. I'm proud of them. Um, definitely they are not satisfied. If anything, they're more hungrier than me. And, I, you know, that's one thing that you want to see in a team, um, especially these seniors. They're not relaxing. Um, and I felt like they kind of did in the first half, but they felt like they had it the whole time, I think. You know, and so we can't be that way. We're, the good thing about this game is we've been in close games. And we finished out close games all throughout this season. And it showed tonight that we're executing down the stretch, um, making the good decisions, and getting to the line. You know, that's the biggest thing, is we got to the line uh, a lot in the second half compared to the first. We got 21, I don't, what was it, 18 more times to the line than the first half, so um, I'm just extremely proud of these kids. Once again, another outstanding game by Savannah Carver. Her third consecutive 20-point game and fifth in the last six games. Yeah. You know, Savannah's consistent, and you know, the biggest thing that she's she's doing a good job of is she's not getting frustrated when she misses that first shot and she's grown up tremendously and I'm extremely proud of her and how she's done that and she, you know 100% from free throw line what what can you ask for there and 6 of 11 from the field I, I know that you'd take better than 50% from the floor from Savannah every night oh, of the week anytime every every night would be nice yeah. well you also had the inside players and nearly two double doubles as you had Sierra Thompson nine points nine boards ten boards for Andrea Carter with nine points. The freshman from Angleton's just really, I know that, that you were beaming on that one. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of her. You know, um, you know, she could have converted a little bit more on those, but, you know, that's also being under the basket and getting hit and being young and, and finishing. But yeah, I'm very, really proud of her and her motor and how high she run, how high her motor runs for us. Um, we put her on Ify Mora, who's a tough uh, person to guard. She's one of their best players and, and creates so much off the dribble and she did a fantastic job on her. Proud of Andrea. And Kirsty DeGilia, when you needed the go-to buckets there when it was getting tight. Oh my goodness. I tell you what, I don't I think she was, I don't know what she was in the first half, but uh, goodness gracious, she was 4-4, four 3-3. Four, three three. I wish she would have been 4-4 four four from the free throw line. She would have been 100% the whole way across. I don't know if that's ever happened. Um, DeGilia only history. had four points in the first half. I know, and she <laughs> She, she she put it on him in the second. Um, she made good decisions with the basketball in the second half. That was the difference. So. Well, the Mustangs now get ready to travel down to A&M Kingsville in a in a place that's been kind of hard to play at. Yeah, you know we played horrible there last year. Um, we didn't have. Uh, the intensity that we needed to have to play down. They play really good down there. They've got a new coach. Mike Trujillo is doing a great job. Um, they activated Jan Jackie Stanley when they came here, and uh, she's leading scoring for her, and she's gotten in shape. Um, so, you know, they shoot well there. It's a tough facility. It's a tough trip in general, so this is going to be a big test for us. Um, I know the returners remember that game from last year, and they're pretty fired up to get back down there and redeem themselves. Well, Coach, congratulations again. Ten wins under the dome, ten straight wins under the dome at MSU uh, this year. That, it, that was something that hasn't been done in nearly two decades. Yeah. And, it, you know, it's a, it's a, again, these kids are working their tails off, and I'm so proud of them. I'm proud of what they're doing and how they're representing MSU in Wichita Falls. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, Bill. Coach Noel Johnson.